guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those that have not subscribed consider subscribing press the notification icon below if you want to be the first to know when i upload a new video it's a very early morning uh it's just eight o'clock in the morning and the sun is just out too hot just can't believe guys yeah uh, today we are visiting the small villages we actually want to see what it is like to live in the small villages in Qatar. And one of the villages today we want to discover is a small village that is called Al Sakama. Guys, just have a view of how it looks like. It's just a small village in Al Sakama. This is one of the roads that takes through, uh, it gives you to different areas. It takes you north of uh, Humsalal and uh, it gives you the view of what you need actually to understand or to know about the small villages. Guys, we shall take a small brief, brief about Al Sakama. Al Sakama is just a village in Qatar. It's located in the municipality of Al Dayen. You know, Qatar is comprised of just eight municipalities, and Al Sakama, the small village that I'm trying to explore today, is just located near the border of Um Salal municipality, just southeast. It is situated in Zone 70, District 120, and it occupies an area of 2.8 square meters. It's just 22 kilometers from Doha, via the Doha Highway, the Doha Express Highway. Approximately, it is only 28 minutes if you are taking a, tra if you are taking a taxi. That is, if you are in delays, let's say by traffic signals, but it is approximately it is just 20 minutes if it is in a, a, without delays guys move with me we try to discover the unseen parts that you don't know the unseen part of Qatar which looks a little bit very beautiful that you can also enjoy at one moment of time as we shall continue to discover the unseen parts and this is how it looks like it's really pretty, very beautiful. You see how the roads look like. It's a tarmac road. Uh, you may ask, you may ask a lot of questions, but this is what a small village looks like with such very good roads uh, that can move along itself. So this looks like a, a small open place. Uh, it's like a desert, but uh, it may not be a desert because still the land is utilized. Uh, you can see, you can try to see within the other area, you can see the trucks that are parked. I think they are only used for higher, uh, higher services, uh, where you can have the services. It's pretty, very good. Uh, that extreme side, we can look, we have the main road. I said that is the, the road that takes you to, to Um Salal side, uh, the side of Al Dayen. It's, a, it's a, also a, an express road that takes you right. Uh, what I've realized is that they have uh, they've tried to, to, to do a lot of constructions with the roads and that's pretty, very good. So we shall try to move around, go to the main road. Uh, just have to move with me. Uh, we move, we check and see what it is like. Uh, this is how it looks like we go. Uh, this is how the land looks like. It's pretty, very good. Uh, actually, Al Sakama here is a, is a very quiet place. And as I told you, with rent, it's a affordable rent that you can have. One bedroom, 3,000. Then you have a two bedroom that is uh, for, for the family type, which is 5,500 Qatarial with a garage and uh, parking, very spacious place for the family. And um, uh, right now, uh, this is, uh, I'm heading to the main road. You can try to see uh, uh, the taxis, uh, the vehicles that are moving around. And this is what it is like. It's actually a very beautiful area, very quiet. Actually, things that you can have here, the recreation uh, services you can have, I think they have two big uh, parks. Uh, maybe one time we shall get to go and see what the parks look like with the public parks. They have two. One is called Al Sakama Park. Then another one is called uh, Lucille, Lucille Park, uh, which is entries for free. You can go and enjoy whatever it is that for, for free of charge. No need to pay. And that is a good thing with it. Uh, uh, you can enjoy. But it's pretty very hot, guys. I think it is now summertime. It's pretty very hot. It's just nine o'clock in the morning, but it is very hot. It's very hot. 
Uh, by the way, it's just COVID-19 still on and you have to put on a mask. Because if you don't put on the mask, you get, uh, you get fine of 1,000, which is an equivalent of uh, 1,000 Qataria. That is around $275, which is pretty very, um, which is pretty very, uh, very, very high. So you have to avoid such kind of fines, you need to, to take care of yourself and you need to protect yourself. This is how it is like. Uh, here we are trying to go with the main road and uh, I'll try to move around with you, with the village, then we can try to see what it is like. So it's pretty very good, very quiet. Mm. You can have it for the family and you can have it. Uh, there are also single rooms that have that only uh, you can rent a bed, a bed space, a bed space which goes as 300, which goes as 300, uh, 300 criteria per person. So you can get one room, subdivide it two people, then you can try to have space and uh, live within the same means. It's pretty very good. Thank you guys. For those that have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment in the subsection below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, for those that have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Support me and press the notification. You'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you guys. Talk to you and that's pretty very good. This is how Alsakama looks like and it's a pretty very good environment. You can have just within the means of itself. So I'll check it out. Yeah. As we get to discover the unseen parts uh, of Qatar in one moment of time.